Okay, so today we're going to talk about spaces. So if you look down at the bottom, first of all, follow me at Business Space C. Um, but if you look down at the bottom, you'll see those four circles. We're going to click that and I'm going to show you what it looks like when you're searching for a space or how you can see the spaces that the people that you follow are in. So as you can see, these are all the spaces that are going on. If you have a lot of listeners in your space, you'll see top spaces, trending spaces. But you see that one with the play sign introducing the Rivonia circle? Yeah, so that's a play black. Pay <laughs> play back. Move it on. Okay, so if I type in business in a search bar, it'll bring up everything that uses the word business as well as um, anything that has the topic of business so we're going to go back to our profile here then we're going to start a space by holding down our plus sign and then the same bubbles i typically try to let people know like hey i'm not here dropping gems or anything this is just for me to test so i usually type that in and People respect it, then you know, you got those couple people, right? Um, so that is how you name your space. And then you can actually just, cho I choose any three, but you can add topics. So that way, just like I showed you, they become searchable. So you want to pick topics that are on brand because you don't want listeners coming in and then leaving because that is being tracked as well. There's a lot of spammer um, spaces going on right now, but I think that that has really cleaned it up. So now you'll see those appear next to the plus sign. You see that I could record a space. I chose to. And then to the right, I chose to schedule one. And then I just press today. Um, I'm on military time, so forgive me. But at the bottom there, you can tweet about it, send someone a DM, copy the link, or share it to like your Instagram story. So we're back on the profile. I didn't actually start that one. So we're gonna go through that same process again. And as you can see, it has my frequently used topics already automated. And I'm gonna go ahead and name this space something similar. I'm just throw anything on there. All right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and record this space. So now we're in our space. We're the only one in here. You can see our topics up there. If you click what's the shareable on like everything, the ellipses, I turned on the captions, which you've seen at the bottom of that list. I turned on my mic and now you can actually read everything I was saying on my screen record. Um, I wanted to make it a little easier just in case somebody was watching this with the sound off or has hearing impaired issues. If you take a look at that heart right there, um, you can press emojis to share with people to let them know how you're reacting. A lot of people say drop an emoji so they know how you're feeling, how the conversation is going. And then all the way to the right, you'll see that hand. That hand is so you can raise it when there's multiple room, multiple people in the room speaking. And so everyone doesn't like speak over each other. It's an amazing tool. Um, a lot of people don't use it. It's just like the classroom. People just don't, right? Then you can turn it off just in case somebody said your point already or maybe just don't want to talk. Pressing the button next to that, you can have two co-hosts, 10 speakers, and unlimited amount of listeners. You can also search the people who are in your space. So maybe someone's talking and you want to search their name. Um, and then here we have the voice transformer, which I've talked about in previous videos. Just go to my channel and you'll be able to see the video I made about that feature. Um, all the way to the right, we already know how to make a tweet, right? So it will populate the link to it. I chose not to actually go ahead and tweet that because I just didn't want people trying to come in. If you press the pencil, you can alter the name of the space be careful too because sometimes people have like something super cute up there and then you'll enter the room and then they'll change it to something weird as you can see you can go outside of the spaces and continue to enjoy the app and you can turn your mic on and off there at the bottom and 
after you end a space that you've recorded, you can see where you can download it or you can listen to it again right away.